Hi guys, it's Brie, and I had the best day ever. I can't wait to tell you about it. I know I filmed in this bedroom a few times. So I had a day off, and my grandmother is like, let's go shopping, let's hang out. We went to the Edgewater Mall in Biloxi, and we were just shopping, like, la la la, doing our thing, having a good grandmother, granddaughter kind of day. And I stopped at the Dior counter, and they had all kinds of new fun things. And I really have never worn any sort of Dior makeup before. So I was like, hmm, let's investigate what's going on here. So I walked over there and they have beautiful makeup. I don't know how I have never gotten into this before. I've always wanted to try their mascaras. And I knew that Fashion Week was the past week and all of the runway models had on Dior mascara. And you guys know I have been searching for my mascara soulmate, and I think I found it. I found the best mascara, but let me back up and tell you that you guys know that sometimes, you know, I will wear my hair little pigtails in a baseball cap, and no one will wait on me. I think it's so funny. Like, literally, if I am not dressed like this, you know, nice black, showing that I'm an actual grown-up, people are so disgustingly rude to me. Um, I have a few videos back where I went to Bear Essentials and people were really, really rude to me. I think the video is called, called I Will Not Be Ignored. And finally, after four tries of going to that store, someone finally sold me a product. And this is sort of a reoccurring theme for me. People are really rude to me when I look younger for some crazy reason. But one of the Dior girls, her name was Brennan. Isn't that the best name for a girl? I've never met a girl named Brennan. She came up to me and she was like a friend. She seriously acted like my friend. And she was like, come here, girlfriend. I'm going to show you our new mascara. And that is what I love. I love for salespeople to talk me into things because obviously I'm a I'm hanging around a makeup counter. I want to spend money. I want to buy things. And I like salespeople to help me and introduce me to new things. That's how I learn, you know, new tips and tricks and try new brushes and new colors. So I love for helpful salespeople. And Brennan was awesome, like beyond awesome. So she talked me into the Dior mascara. This is Dior Show XTs. I think that's how you say it. Oh my gosh, this is my mascara soulmate, completely. Look at my lashes. Like, I have to fix my light. So check out my lashes. Are they the bomb.com or what? This is what all the fashion models were using on the runway. And I don't know about you, but I feel like, you know, if skinny little models can rock it, so can I, right? So I love this mascara. I have it on right now, and I'm probably going to be using this in every single tutorial from now on. And I know that I have bought Buku shadows lately. Do you guys say Buku? Is that a New Orleans thing? I don't know. Okay, it's one of my phraseology terminology things, Buku. Seriously, I just bought two new 88 palettes, so I was like, huh, pump the brakes, no more shadows for Brie. But I didn't say anything about lip gloss, right? So I bought a lipstick. This is Dior. It's supposed to be their long-lasting one. I am color 298, and it is beige. I just wanted something nude since I bought a lot of like really crazy colored eyeshadows. I wanted to do a very, very beautiful nude on my lips. So this is the color and I absolutely love it. Check that out. And it's very creamy. It doesn't dry your lips out. And I know some of the MAC ones that I've bought recently are very drying. This does not dry your lips out at all and it stays. So I really do like this. And then I wanted a pretty gloss on top because even if I'm going nude, I still want a sort of pinky glow. So I bought the Dior Addict Ultra Gloss in Pearl. This is what the little outside looks like. And there it is. And it's a lot. It's a lot of product. And it is like a baby pink. The only thing I don't like, I don't really love that brush on it because these little bristles once there's like one little stray one then the other sort of fall out and it's like <sighs> so they could have made a better brush they had another one that I looked at and it had one of those rolling brushes and I would have preferred that over this but I liked this color a lot better um 
Oh, totally. Back to the mascara. Check this out. I have never seen this kind of tip on a mascara before. It's tiered. Can you see that? So, and it doesn't have that little tip on the end like most mascaras do. So, it gives you that big old clump. This is amazing. And it gets like all up in the grooves. So, amazing product. Dior XC's mascara. And they had this thing going on if you bought three products. Then you got a little travel makeup case. Check this out. This is it. It's like a little makeup briefcase and it says Dior on the bottom corner over here. Now watch, watch it and just be amazed. So it has this little part, I guess, for whatever, and it comes off, it's Velcro. So you can just pop that in your purse if you wanted to. And it has a little see-through thing so you know what you're working with. And then also, it has this little flap right here. So if you're traveling, you can lay it down. And voila! It is a mirror and it also has a little stand back here so you can lay all of your makeup out flat and see kind of what you're working with and it has a stand to hold up your makeup mirror because I always travel with my big sharper image makeup mirror and you don't have to with that which is really great and then there's also a little part in the bottom for your brushes and it has a little flap that covers it in case your brushes are heinously dirty like mine so I thought this was the best little kit ever. And I have also been wanting a really, really awesome new perfume. And I looked everywhere. And while I was at Dior, I was talking to Brennan and the counter manager, Debbie. Now this is for the Edgewater Mall in Biloxi, Mississippi. So if your Dior ladies are nice too, that's awesome. If you're in my area, check out the Edgewater Mall's counter for Dior because they are super, super nice. But she talked to me into getting Miss Dior Cherie. I love this smell. The top note for the fragrance are strawberry leaves. Is strawberry leaves? Are? Which is proper there. Anyway, it's strawberry leaves and it smells really, really great. And I put this on earlier this morning and I can still smell it on me. So definitely this is my new favorite fragrance. Now, let me explain my morality clause for fragrances. I don't buy celebrity fragrances at all. I refuse because think of the idiots that have celebrity fragrances like Jessica Simpson. Why do I want to give Jessica Simpson my money? She has a failed TV show. She doesn't make music anymore. She sort of sleeps around with everyone. That's not a good role model. And I work really hard for my money. Don't you work really hard for your money? I slave away for my money and I don't want to give it away to some idiot like Jessica Simpson. I am an intelligent, hardworking person and I'm not going to throw my money at her. And you see how wasteful she is like on all those shows, cribs and whatnot. No, I will never give her my money. And who else has a fragrance? Kim Kardashian. Who are the Kardashians and why are we keeping up with them? I've never, ever seen one of their shows. She's famous for making a sex tape. A sex tape. Why do I want to work and give money to someone who is famous for having sex on camera? And it's also taking away from the designers like Dior or Ralph Lauren, who that isn't their entire income is making perfume and selling it to the masses. I don't wanna give it to someone who like Mariah Carey or Rihanna. No, you have music, you have movies, you have your own thing. That's where you make money. Stop invading other people's territory. No, so I will not buy a movie star's fragrance at all, ever. If you bought a fragrance, you got a little bag to go with. So here's my little, it's pink, it's a Dior. So this is where I'm going to keep all of my makeup now. It's like huge, too, cool, huh? So that was my Dior haul. Buy some makeup. If you guys have tried this product, then let me know at the bottom bar and if you liked any of the products below, especially the mascara. I am in love with that mascara, no lie. So shout out to everyone uh, at Dior Edgewater. I love you guys. Thank you, Brennan. Thank you, Debbie. Y'all are awesome. And give me product ideas. I need them in the bottom bar. Uh, anything you guys want me to review or make a video about, let me know. So rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you. Bye.